Oh, that's f***ing cool. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a leader one play. Nice. Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host, Pepe Franz, and today we're going to be looking at the Beta FPV 65 Pro Brushless 1S Quadcopter. Now, this is your typical Whoop style micro, and mine is in FR Sky. It comes in a couple different other types you can get it at, or you can DIY with all the parts right off of the Beta FPV site or on the Beta FPV site on Amazon if you'd like to have it quicker because you can get it in just a couple days there. So let's take a look. Let's take it out of the box and take a look at what we got here. In the box, you're going to get the quad, four props, and one 260 HV battery in there. So looking at that, that's a pretty good deal for what we have. We probably could use getting some extra props thrown in there. It runs on the 2.0 JST connector. As I mentioned, we have that uh, battery that comes along with it. So let's take a look at it here with the battery out. I'm going to run it on this 300 mAh battery and uh, that's the new battery out by Beta FPV, and it's going to handle that just fine, I'm sure. So we're going to put it inside there and take a look. Now let's take the hood off here. So let's take a look at what we have inside here. First thing we have is the flight controller. Now that's a Beta FPV F4 1S brushless flight controller, and that flight controller uses the Maytech firmware. It also has a 5 amp BL Heli Suite ESE built in has the built-in FR Sky receiver. I'm going to run that on D8. Runs on D-Shot 300, so you can set this guy up also for turtle mode, which is also very exciting. Now, something important here to know is this is the updated version. It has the updated 65 frame, and it also has the updated motors. Now, there will be some bad videos out there if you look at other videos on these motors, but... When they first launched these motors, they'd blow the bell off because the kick clip on the bottom wasn't holding. Well, now they have laser welded the clip to the bottom of the shaft, so the shaft will not come off and the bell won't go flying out on you. So this is now fixed and this is not an issue. Now, you always want to check your quad out when you get it. Check all the screws and everything. Now, I noticed on mine I had a bit of a floppy bell. And what I realized happened here is in the factory, when they pressed the propeller down, because sometimes the holes in those propellers aren't coming out of the machines real good, it actually pressed the motor shaft down. And I easily fixed that with a pair of uh, pliers, and I just pushed the, the rod back up and put the prop back on, and everything was good. So definitely check out your quad before you get it uh, all out in the air and, and make sure everything's solid because those things do happen in the factory. So first little bit of flight here we're going to look at was on that 260 mAh battery. Uh, I realized after I started flying that um, that was the battery I was using while I was setting it up on beta flight. So it wasn't a full pack. And um, so I, I cut this one a bit short, as you'll see. But as you can see, it, it's a pretty much a ripper, man. Um, I'm zipping around the old yard, hitting all the trees as we normally do. If you haven't seen the channel before, this is usually where I'm going to test these whoops out as far as a, a review video goes. I'm just zipping them around the house, running the trees as if they were gates, and just uh, checking the power out. So this is on that 260, as I mentioned, and we're just going to run it around the yard here, give you some, some view of what we're looking at for power. Um, do a little bit of acro, not much, just to see if it can handle flips and tricks and um, get this 260 out of the way and then we'll slap in that 300 and take a look at it too. So I'll just let this go until we get into that 300 battery. Now if you haven't flown in Florida before, that Spanish moss right there is scrag that moves and it's everywhere and it jumps out and bites you like it jumped out and bit me so i just took that uh that scrag hit to change the battery out to the 300 and that's what we're in here now so you know just gonna punch it out over the trees do a little bit of a flip there no problem bring it back into the course 
and start zipping around the trees a bit again. Again, with the 300, I found it to be even better. I got a lot more time out of it, a lot more flying. Still can't avoid the scrag, apparently. But um, definitely, um, I definitely like these 300s, and they've been doing great in all of my uh, all my loops, and I've been getting a pretty decent amount of bonus flight time out of it, which is nice when I'm just out here trying to keep my stick fingers strong. So I'll just let this run a bit, throw in some commentary as needed, but uh, as you'll see, it's handling itself really, really well. Very, very comparative to the other brushless quads out there that are in the 65 millimeter category, and uh, definitely worth looking at. I'm going to have the links in the description below, in the comments below, for you to check it out. Once again, you can get these from Beta FPV, and I'll have a link there for you on that. And I'm trying to get them to get these into the Beta FPV store on Amazon, so if you want one, you don't have to wait as long. But I'm working hard with the vendor to try to make that happen. But as you can see, as we go down here, um, in decent control, going through here, FPV boards are, are you can literally feel and tell the difference in the flight controllers that they make. It is such a smooth experience. Um, I almost forgot about these guys. It was the very first quad I had was the Beta 65S. And uh, I actually was monkeying around in some footage and looked. I'm like, God, I feel like I got worse since back then, since like the first month of flying or whatever. Um, I was more in control with that original quad and stuff like that. So... So I actually knocked the dust off that 65S and got it back out and found, you know, it, it's it's honest to God, the product. The product is so much more stable uh, with the chips and stuff they're using. So anyway, I'll just let this run on out. And as I mentioned, um, look for the links below. As always, guys, thanks for checking out my videos. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Make sure you stay subscribed for the greatest giveaways on YouTube for the FPV community, and you'll find those here. I don't think anyone's given away the quality and caliber of things I've given away and plan to continue to give away. Now, if you're a vendor and you're looking to sponsor a giveaway and be one of those people that give away the best stuff in FPV to the greatest subscribers in the community, feel free to contact me. You can find my contact information at the quadcopterreview.com right there in the right hand rail you can contact me and we can arrange for some reviewing and some giveaways to these great people that subscribe so once again guys thanks for watching happy flying hey guys thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review if you want to see more interesting reviews on fpv related stuff take a look up here in the old right corner right there You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.